gets side control I, again. You know, we talked about it recently, but he don't want his elbows in like this. It's it's better for him. It's worse for me. He's able to create a barrier where he can keep some of my weight off him. But also, I need if I'm going to attack his arms or even position. A lot of times, you want to have the arms start to open up. Um, so if you want to be under the, this arm over here, um, we talked about it. Uh, recently, I can just turn my hip and then start to walk up to bring this elbow out of position. So I use I'm here, his elbow's in. I need to kill his close arm. So I'm going to put my hip on Hudson and then I'm starting to drive it up so I can bring his elbow, I can open his elbow away from his body. And then once I do that, then I can. Um, once, once you do, then you can turn back and keep that on the trap. And now you're in a, a much better position. <clears throat> now, here, um, this arm here, if it's, if it's still inside, um, you would prefer to take away his inside position. So. <clears throat> Like usually they're like kind of pushing on you a little bit. Yeah, if I can, I can do that to start to grab my arm triangle, or I can start to come forward. Okay, so if I start to come forward, I'm gonna open his arm this way with my body. So here, I just you don't want to like use your neck to do it. So use your chin, right? Yeah, I don't want to push with my neck. It's, um, it's not the most comfortable thing. So here, I drive forward. Yeah. Once I drive forward, now I'm taking his arm out of position. I'm just going to look to grab my collar over here. Okay? So once I grab my collar, now I'm in a position where I can start to, to attack. Because I can pull his his arm across. Now I can start to either attack with like upward shoulder lock, or if I go here and he straightens, now it's going to put me right into the arm position. Okay, so you get here, you killed the close arm. <clears throat> the next job is killing the the far arm. Um, Gonna drop my chin. I'm gonna start to drive. I wanna drive until I can get over here like this. And then at this point, <clears throat> I'm gonna start to pull my elbow back. I just keep my collar. Obviously, this is in the key, right? Now I can put this hand out. I can start to threaten with the shoulder lock. Like this is already tight right now. Even though my elbow's not on the ground, uh, his arm is at a really awkward angle. So I, I could finish right here, but what will happen is, <clears throat> here, if I go here, he's he's gonna do that, or, or else he's gonna get tapped on the shoulder. Bone. When he does that, I just pull this arm across, I'm gonna push his head, then I'm gonna step here, <laughs> So I'm now in a arm lock position. So this is with the, the knee in. I can always bring it across, but when you do this position, it's not necessary. If you're under this arm, you have to have this knee out. If this knee is like this, he can come up and smash me this way. And then I'm going to lose the position. So, if you get under the armpit, it's fine. You just open your ear. And then you're here, you squeeze your knees. You've got the arm. No awful lot of steps here, but let's just start off with the close arm kill.